Nuno Espirito Santo, as of today of recording this video, has been sacked as the Tottenham Hotspur manager. And so this video, consider this video my CV. Hello everybody and welcome to another video. This is One Season with Spurs. My name is Pokes and welcome to the channel, particularly if you're new. You're so welcome. This is episode three and I'm so grateful that you're here. If you're really enjoying this and you enjoy this video, I would love for you to hit the like button. It just enables more people to be able to watch and access this video. And if you're enjoying this season so far, you're enjoying this save and you want to see some more, then do hit the subscribe button. I'll be posting plenty of Football Manager 2022 content not just Spurs, but other teams too um, over the course of the coming months. And so it'll be great to have you join me. Hit the bell button. You'll be notified every time I upload a video too. And so the saga continues. The last time you saw me play, I was playing against Norwich. But since then, the big thing that has happened is the transfer deadline window has now passed. And what did we do with Harry Kane? We kept him. Now, the transfer deadline day came on Football Manager 2022, which, FYI, is a wonderful, nice little new feature. Very immersive, very stress-inducing. I, I loved it very much. And we did it live on stream. And in the stream, I was trying to decide what we're going to do. Should we keep him? I was looking at other strikers. In fact, I'd even lined up a new striker and had bought a new striker. And they were just waiting for a work permit and just had to kind of secure that. and Everything would be fine. And then somebody said to me, well, don't sell him for anything less than 200 million. So I thought, right well why don't I be proactive to get him out there there was two clubs interested Man City and Liverpool so I was like right and 200 million seemed a little bit much from JM thoughts in the comments thanks mate so I thought I'd take it down to about I think 150 offered him offered him out to clubs for 150 no offers came back lowered it down to 90 no offers have come back. So then Harry gets annoyed with me. He's upset about the whole thing. And now we've got an upset Harry Kane. Nobody ended up buying him. So I'm with him and I'm still trying to get him firing on all cylinders. And it's just, just not quite working. Now, a bit of a, I don't know, disclaimer here. He's not doing really badly. Look, you can see his average rating um, in the in the European Conference League is 7.18. His average rating in the in the League Cup, we've only played one game of that, was a 7.1. But look, it's, it's in the Premiership. Look, 6.53 is all his average rating is so far in the Premier League. He hasn't scored yet. He's played six games. And I, I don't quite know what to do with him anymore. And so here's how we've been doing since the last episode of this game. We've played um, we played a few of the uh, European Conference League games. We played against Aberdeen and we won 3-0 against them on aggregate. We played against Man City and lost 1-0 to Man City there. That was absolutely gutting, really, because we had, hadn't played too badly. They did obviously have more of the game than us, more attacking chances and things like that. But it wasn't until the 94th minute that Rodri scored to win it 1-0 for them. As you can see here, we also beat Cambridge in the Carabao third round. Uh, it was only 2-1, which is mildly embarrassing, but we still won it anyway, and we're through to the next round. Back of the net. Carabao Cup, very important, obviously. very Im Any silverware counts, doesn't it? Any silverware counts. And then the Premier League campaign then carried on being all right as we played against Wolves. We beat them 2-1 in the end. Um, and let me just look. A reasonably even game, as you can see here, but we... Uh, we had a far less possession than they did. That was really where they beat us. But but Sonny scored on the 36th minute. Romero then scored on the 89th minute to make it 2-0, which is great. I don't think it was really deserved, but we did deserve to win. Um, and Traore then got a consolation goal on the 91st minute as well. So another three points in the bag. Very tasty. But the last two games haven't been so great. We had a 2-2 draw with Aston Villa, as you can see here. Um, we Suso scored. Suso, by the way, is an absolute hero. Absolutely loving Suso. Either as the AMC role, sometimes I'm having to play him in because we had Deli Ali out and other players out. But he's also playing on the right as an inside forward, and it's working out quite nicely there. And Lucas Moura also scored on the 45th minute, but it was a, it, with a 90-second goal from Aston Villa. It was a 2-2 draw in the end, which is sad times. And unfortunately, we've just embarrassingly lost 3-1 against Watford. Absolutely awful. Again, we're really struggling to get Harry scoring. We've been playing Lucas Moura as centre forward. He is scoring in that position, which isn't bad, but we were 3-0 down after 24 minutes. We got one back on the 48th minute. Um, 
and uh and and that was all we could do that's all we could muster it was a bad game very embarrassing you can see the xg match story there which kind of also mirrors the momentum of the match um i feel in that we sort of got better as the game went on but we just didn't get the goals it wasn't great okay which brings us to the game against slovan bratislava one area that we are doing well in is this competition we are top of our group at the moment let me just uh, let me just click you and show you this we're top of the league we've played two one two to be fair we should be winning these games right this isn't a tough <laughs> tough competition but the main thing is we're still in it that's the thing to remember everybody we're still in this competition Okay, I just think we need to get out there and play our natural game, which clearly they disagree with. So I'm going to have to tell them something else. I trust you to make a difference. Make me proud. Make me proud. And attackers, make me proud. And they, they seem happy about that, which is good. Let's crack on then. Let's see how we get on. We should win this, shouldn't we? We, we really should win this. So with our league form, really, we are mid-table right now. I'll show you at the end of the video where we're at. Um, we're, we're not doing too great. And with the sacking of Nuno today, with us being in, are we in eighth? It's probably maybe a little bit lower. I can't quite remember right now off the top of my head. But with us basically being in a, oh, Suso, what a run from Suso there and it uh, is off for a corner on the first minute. Yeah, with us in the position that we are in real life, mirroring what I'm doing here in terms of the Premier League, a little bit concerned as the safety of my job right now. So we'll take a little look at the end of this match as to where I'm at in the league and what the board are feeling like right now. I, from what I remember, I think they're a bit disappointed with my league form, naturally, but we, we'll see what we can do. Okay, throw in from Emerson Royal here and he's picked it back up at the... Uh, on the edge of the pitch, chipped forward from Hoiberg. Oh, was that inside the box? That was, was that foul inside the box? I think it was just outside. I can't quite tell, but is what's going to happen to this guy? Is he going to get a yellow penalty review? Check in, VAR check in. No pen, no pen. It's on the edge of the box then. Oh man, it's a free kick, but Sousa right on the edge here is going to uh, take the free kick. Oh, not quite, not quite. Back to Reguillon and nothing comes of that. Okay, no surprises now though, but we've dominating this game so far. We're playing it at home in Tottenham Hotspur Stadium, Bratislava. Oh, <laughs> come on, boys! If we, if we, even if we draw, this is embarrassing, right? Even if we draw, it would be just really humiliating. With a corner there, and Delhi picks up the edge of the ball, ball on the edge of the box. Regillon with a wonderful strike! What a shot! What a goal! And uh, we are one nil up. That was an absolute beauty, absolute beauty, lad. Sergio, oh Sergio! Ball got his head out there. Delhi picked it up. Just a simple pass. He got all the space in the world. Left peg, boom. Keeper didn't really stand a chance with that one. Thank you, thank you, uh, Daniel. If if you need a CV, if if you're looking for somebody to take the job, there he is. Not not Sergio. He's a he's a player, but me, me. Okay, approaching half time now, and we are one nil up. Let's give them a little bit of a praise. They're playing well. We're all over them. I know it's only one nil, but they haven't responded too well. But Kane, meanwhile, has got a lot of space here. Ball got pumped over the defence, and Son. Oh, Delhi! Yay, Delhi! Delhi hasn't scored much this season, but he's back in the game with this one. I feel like we all just, as a Tottenham fan, and maybe you're watching this as a Tottenham fan, we just need a bit of Tottenham positivity right now, right? It's all not looking very good in real life, so can we just suspend our disbelief and let's pretend this is real, just for this moment. <sighs> Great. So we will go into half time with them not having had one shot. I'm so glad I've chosen this game to put on video. And Don Bele. Oh, and Kane! Harry Kane gets another. It's a 3 0 now for Spurs. And we're not even in half time. Oh, come on. Come on. Oh, come on. <laughs> VAR. I, d I think, I think, I'm pretty sure that was fine. But Harry wasn't offside. No. Let's have a look. Yeah, we've got it. We've got it, everybody. We're fine. Okay, so here we are at half time now. We've had nine shots on target, 19 shots to their one shot with nothing on target, 0 0.02 rating. Uh, you know, some might say, like, you're just playing this game because you know you're going to get a win. Yes. That, that is why I am playing this match. That is exactly why I'm playing this match. So I know I'm going to get a win on camera. So everyone's like, wow, he's actually quite good at football manager. He is until you realise the, the, the opposition and you, you see the form outside of this game, then, <laughs> yeah. Okay, another highlight coming. Bratislava now. 
uh, having a highlight for once, which will be interesting. No, it's not. Suso's got it back. Easy. Sonny, come on, lad. Reguillon. I might take Sonny off soon to give him a little bit of a rest. And Don Bele, Kane. Here he comes. Hoiberg, Sonny. That was a shot. <laughs> My word! What a goal! What a goal from Sonny! Um, just about to take him off the pitch, and now we're four 0 up. So my goodness, my goodness me! What a goal that was! Let's take a look at that. Sonny picks up there one sh one touch. <laughs> Okay, to be fair, the keeper is awful. Let's just bear that in mind here. That that keeper is bad. But still, it still counts. It still counts. And I think this should secure Shakur, Shakur. This should secure our place in the next round, I feel. Um, obviously undefeated so far. We've now played, at the end of this game, we've played every team in our league. And uh, obviously we've won them all. So I'm pretty pretty confident, pretty confident. Here's Suso on attack here. Kane got challenged then and their keeper <laughs> decides to kick it. He decides to kick it when he's under no pressure at all. And uh, we've picked up the loose ball again. He's on Dombele. Kane! And he scores and it's five! <laughs> yeah! Come on! And Harry Kane gets his second. What's annoying though, right, is that now he's getting goals. I can't really slag him off for not scoring. It's not like he's in a goal drought because he is scoring in Europe. He's just not scoring in the Premier League. So he's a little bit cheeky, I feel. It is a bit cheeky, Harry. I've got my eye on you, mate. Okay, we've changed all three of the um, sort of midfield lines. So we've got Bergwijn in, in the right. We've got Lo Celso as the AMC. And we've got Brian now in the attacking midfield on the left. Um, still playing as those inside forwards. So we'll see how they get on. Um, and meanwhile, Bergwijn, this is how he's getting on. He scores uh, within about two minutes of him being on the pitch. Probably his first touch of the game with a lovely little head. And uh, not a chance. 6-0, dear me. I, I, no, I, I did expect to win this game. I did not expect this sort of level of of, uh, of romping. That's what I didn't expect. Poor old Bratislava. I know you're all feeling a little bit of pity and you're like, look at how smug he is. I don't care because I'm probably going to lose loads more games. So I simply don't care. I'm winning right now. Let's, can we all remember this right now? And can if anybody can just send this link onto the Tottenham bosses, that would be great. I feel like this is the best CV I could come up with right now. And Harry, oh, has a head and it's gone over the bar, gone over the bar. 85 minutes now and surely, well, you know, we've done it really, haven't we? This is, this is, this is merely a practice match now. Emerson Royal with a throw, back to Emerson. Can he get a cross in? Not quite. Can uh, Bergwijn get the ball? He has and Emerson's got it and Kane, he got his hat trick. Come on, lad. Come on, now take this. Take, bottle this up, Harry, and put it into the league. That's what we need to see him do. Put it into the league. What this will be great for is morale. As the final whistle goes, 7-0, 17 shots on target, an XG of 4.44. Um, they did get a shot on target in the end, but a 10 from Harry Kane. There I am slagging him off right before this game, and then he comes in and does this, and you're thinking, flipping heck, mate. And I know it's against way worse uh, opposition than what he's in you know, the Premier League, but still, like... I just, I just want him to carry this form into the Premier League and you're hoping the morale of it all will push him forward. We'll have to wait and see. But I'm so pleased with that. 7-0, great, great stuff. Okay, so before we finish today, let me just give you a bit of a rundown as to where I'm at in the league. As I said, we're about mid-table. We're in 12th place at the moment, which isn't pretty. We've only got, we've only played seven games, whereas most teams have played eight or nine. So we have got that sort of game in, in the bank, as it were. And if we can win that game in hand, that could take us as high as, well, it could take us as high as third, eighth place right now, which is <laughs> ironic. Um, but anyway, if we look at the club vision right now and see how we're getting on in terms of what the board are wanting, we've got, overall, we've got a C. They're a bit disappointed, as you can see there, with our kind of Premier League position. They're wanting us to qualify for the Champions League, which we're obviously not really near at the minute um they're pleased with how we're getting on in europe as it as it says there but you can see we're, we're on about a seat i think we're a bit far away from being sacked right now we're on the 21st of october um so we're a couple of heads, a couple of weeks ahead of real life, really. So we'll see what happens over the next couple of weeks. So let's take a little look at our schedule. And you can see here coming up, we've got Crystal Palace, which will be the next video in a season with Spurs that you can watch. We've also got the Carabao Cup fourth round against Norwich. And we've got the London Derby, the North London Derby against Arsenal as well. So those games against Crystal Palace and Arsenal will be the next ones that you'll be able to see. Thank you for joining me today. As I said, if you like this stuff, hit the like button. Also, would love for you to subscribe 
subscribe and follow along on this channel. Thank you for all the support that people have been saying so far. Really appreciating all your comments and things like that. While I remember as well, um, somebody said in the comments, let me just bring it up so I remember. Um, RG in the comments says, can you do a video showing the Tottenham staff under 18s and under 23s player potential and squads, please? At the end of this season, at the end of this save, I will do some of those um, videos explaining the tactic that I probably mainly use as well as showing you the, the, the young squads and I'll do that. I was going to do it in this episode, but I thought, you know what? I've made so many changes already to the staff and got rid of some of the young players. I want to show you what it's like at the beginning of a save so that if you want to do a Spurs save, you can see what these players are looking like and who's um, particularly worthwhile keeping an eye out for. So stay tuned for those videos. But thank you for all the comments, all the likes. Really appreciate all the support so far. And uh, I'll see you next time. See you later.